guys? This is Photoidin or Photik, and I'm here with uh, well a few more tutorials uh, in a different program. This is called ZBrush, um, sort of a symbol like this, um, and basically this is um, a sculpting program, uh, similar to Autodesk Mudbox if you've heard of it. Um, and what you can do is you can start creating characters. If I just bring in a preset, I can sort of show you. Um, the ability this program has. So if you want to just add a floor in there just so I can see. Okay, maybe it doesn't. It's got a background. But anyway, yeah, you can create designs like this and actually create characters for games or, or animations, whichever ones you want. Um, it's quite a artistic program. So, you know, I think when I started to learn this, I suddenly realized I had to learn the anatomy of humans, you know. A male and female, and you know, just the anatomy of cartoon characters as well, because obviously it's all different. Um, but these tutorials are going to be sort of showing you how to create your characters. Now, I'm not an expert, um, I'll just throw it out there now, but I will show you what I have made in the various weeks that I've just been learning. If I come to a quick save, uh, no, um, for uni, I have concepted a a Jedi, uh, well, a Jedi styled character, and then I had to make. I had, well, first of all, it had to. It started off with concept art, and then I, um, then I had to go and make it. So if I just load it up, and it will take a bit of time because there's quite a lot of polygons in this, as I'm into the detail in stage. But we'll run through all this in a minute. Just hopefully, it doesn't take too long. It's actually a bit slower. There we go. So I might I'm gonna change the mask and the eyes, I'm not really happy about that. But here we go. I've got a sort of a basic character. If I go to the subtools and I turn off Uh I still don't understand all this stuff, but here we go. I started off with kind of a base character here. Um obviously don't worry about the painting. Uh, that's everything that's hidden. Uh, and there's some various shadows. Um and I've taken out the hands. Oh, sorry about the dogs. Just let me pause this. And I'll come back to it in a sec. Right, guys, I apologise for that. Uh, oh, brilliant. I start it and then ZBrush just takes ages to load up. Brilliant. Um, so, here we go. As I was saying, I've obviously cut some various bits out because I've uh, separated the head and the hands and I've created those in a bit more detail. But, you know, I start off with a mesh uh, and then I start adding you know all these various belts and straps and you know clothing so add that in and that's you sort of do it in parts and I'm going to show you how to do uh, do all this so let's start a new new project now you can't go file new in ZBrush it's preferences and then initialize ZBrush I don't know why it's very different this program and there's a lot of buttons so yeah we'll we'll get there eventually so what you do is you can start with a, a blank canvas like this and we can go to, I don't know, uh, the light box. This has all the sort of your preset tools in it. So you can grab base message of uh, men and female and dogs and whatnot. Um, it's always best to do it from uh, scratch. So you start off with a sphere. So I usually start off with a Dynamesh 32. So double click on that and it's just a sphere. Yeah. Um, make sh sure you've got perspective on. Because if you have that off, that's more like a 2D view. Perspective is obviously 3D. And having a floor on is easier as well. Now, I have symmetry select on here. And the key to switch this on and off is the X button. Um, the reason I'm going to do that is because um, I only want to affect one piece. So then what we can do is we can come up to just some brushes. Um, just go to clay build up, draw size. You know, and then you can just start sculpting stuff um, unless you have symmetry on and then you can sort of like you know I don't know you could do some wacky designs it don't, don't have to be amazing um, and it is low poly at the minute but we'll get in, into that a little bit later how to make it high detailed but first of all you start off with a sphere now I this is where I always struggle I always struggle on doing heads and bodies and all that kind of stuff but you just need to work with it you know so what you need to do is you just grab a sphere, and I grab the move tool. That's the easiest easiest way to do it. And what you can do is you can just grab an area and pull it out, 
Obviously, that's not the size that I want, so I want to increase that. So I grab a more pr bigger proportion. There we go. So if I just start morphing this into kind of like a head shape, but um, more like a skull, but it can get very confusing sometimes. If I just go basic and then go to front view and start adjusting the jaw, about the temple of the head. So something like that, you know, just you can create basic shapes. Um, and then what you would usually do is you create another sphere to bridge the neck and then you just like bind them all together. But this is just going to be an introduction to ZBrush. So I'm just going to show you where things are. So you know how to import spheres, how to use the brushes and then you can, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, the, go to, I don't know, just grab another tool, dam standard, let's go dam standard, where's that, oops, dam standard, uh, you know you can just, oops, too big, there you go, you just start making indents. Now various shortcuts for this, if you say have the standard, just normal standard brush, if you just click and drag it adds to the model. If you click or hold Alt and drag, it subtracts it from the model. So that's a good key to, to know. Just click and drag for add, hold Alt and then click and drag to subtract. And if you do something like this and you think, oh, I don't like, I don't like that, I want to smooth it out, you just hold Shift and it comes up with a little blue, you know, circular mouse cursor. And then you can just smooth it out. But this is really low poly. We have a total of 2,790 polygons just in this piece. Now, by the time you get a whole character, you're going to have uh, over 2 million. So, yeah, you're going to work your way through the subdivision level. So you'll start off like this. Uh, you go to geometry, and I'll divide that. That's now 11,000. So I can add a bit more detail, you know, smoothen that out a little bit. Um, okay, I'm happy with that. I'll divide it again to add 45,000. You know, come to here, just add a bit more finer detail. You know, this is just random, by the way. And it's easier to do it on a uh, drawing tablet than a mouse. So if you have one of those, I'd advise using that. Uh, because it's basically art. You know, you are drawing. So it's easier to do it by hand than on a mouse. Um, and then you can just keep dividing it, you know, and just add in nice and nice detail. So as you can see, it's getting smoother and smoother. However, the more that you subdivide it, you know, if you want to now smooth this out, it's barely going to do anything. It's going to make little adjustments. But, sorry, I didn't mention this. It's in the geometry tab here. And you've got all your subdivision levels here. So what you can do is you think, oh, no, I don't like that. I want to change something. You can actually come back to the various subdivision levels, smooth that bit out, and then whack it back up again. And then this area is now smooth. So that's something to uh, consider. So what else can I show you? Um, Z intensity, that is the intensity of your brush. So if I whack this up and then do that, you can obviously see, whoa, you know, that's massive. If I bring that down and now do it, and bring it up to about 15 or 16 will do, you know, it's not as much. So that's just sort of the intensity of your brush. Don't worry about RGB yet because that's uh, painting, uh, that'd be texturing your model. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all good. However, I will start again because if you want to import something, like either a tool or if you come to here and you want to, I don't know, I want to import uh, this head. Yeah, so you click on it, or double click on it, sorry, and you think, where is it? It's actually, because it's a tool, it gets loaded here and all you have to do now is just click and drag and it imports it. Oops. I've just made the, the mistake that I was just about to tell you not to do. Um, if you just keep clicking and dragging, it's going to just create multiple, multiple, multiple ones. So what you need to do is you need to click and drag. And if you're happy with it, where it has draw, basically we've drawn our model, you just need to click edit. And now we can move around, we can adjust various features, you know. Um, you need to click edit for that. Otherwise you'll just keep drawing out the same tool. Um, so that's definitely uh, really important. Uh, again, make sure you've got perspective and floor off. So he's got 69,000 polygons on here. So like I said, you can... I mean, it's a fair amount of detail you can get on him, but, you know, uh, if we go to, I don't know, the damn standard brush, and 
I don't know, if we just add a bit more detail where there is some. Just just to show you, nothing like major, just make it a bit more indenty. There you go. And now if I just smooth those out slightly. And do this one. Then we can go to our geometry tab and just divide. So it's obviously on a three level subdivide. So the person that was making it started off with something like this. Then he subdivided it. And kind of got something like that. And so I've divided it again and got that. Apart from the little changes that I made. But if you look at these polygons here, you can see the little rectangles. When I click divide, you'll see them all gradually get smaller. So it's, this is now where you can add fine detail. Um, and that's where your model's really going to take place. Um, but you have to do it in stages. You can't just jump into detail, unfortunately, because it's just going to mess up. And workflow is going to be a lot. You know, really, really horrible. Um, so, yeah, this is the introduction to ZBrush. Just a little something to show you the capabilities of the program. So, I uh, hope you're interested. And there will be several more tutorials on how to create, um, you know, a face shape. Um, how to add different areas. So, obviously, he separated the eyes and the mouth from the face. So, we'll learn how to do that. You know, I'll learn how to paint. And we'll, we'll just go through it uh, as best as I can. So, uh, please like and comment. And I'll see you next video. Peace.